Remember the days when people used to make phone calls on their mobiles? Oh fuck that shit. These days we use these bad boys to take out our pent up aggression on random strangers by shooting them repeatedly in the face and then pretending to dunk on naughty bits in their still warm dripping corpses. Lovely stuff. One of the best mobile games of 2018 is of course PUBG, a reworked version of the brilliant PC multiplayer shooter. It's basically battle royale in miniature form, you versus a whole island of other players using whatever weapons you can scavenge. As the match progresses, a deadly danger zone sweeps its way across the landscape until eventually the remaining survivors find themselves blasting each other in a tiny pocket somewhere near the middle. It's a very popular game and well publicised, so you might be wondering what kind of smartphone do I actually need to jump on board and get involved with PUBG? Well first up, PUBG is available on both Android and iPhone, so it doesn't matter whether you're a Google or an Apple fan. On iOS, the devs reckon you should be packing at least an iPhone 5S, while the game also runs well on any recent iPad, including all of the iPad Airs and iPad Pros, the iPad Mini 3 and above, and the iPad. But that's not the original iPad or even the all new iPad, we're talking about the iPad 5th or 6th generation, which were just called iPad, obviously. But what about Android devices? Well, you might think that you need a top-end premium smartphone to effectively run PUBG, but actually, pretty much any mid-range smartphone will do the job just fine, even more affordable handsets. In fact, the only minimum specs that the devs actually list are Android 5.1.1 or above and just 2 gigs of RAM, so how is it that it can work so well on even the most basic handsets? You see, thankfully the game is smart enough to automatically adjust the graphics settings to suit your particular device. So even if your handset isn't particularly powerful, those detail levels will be scaled back and draw distance will just be a little bit closer. The result is a perfectly playable frame rate. So here we are with the Nokia 6.1 and the OnePlus 6, two smartphones at the very separate opposite ends of the performance smartphone spectrum. If we dive into the settings, you can see, if we go to graphics, uh, they are set up very differently. The Nokia 6.1 is set for smooth graphics, in other words, very low res, as well as low res as you can get them, and also a medium frame rate, whereas here on the OnePlus 6, it's set up for HD graphics and high frame rate. Uh, but we'll show now that it doesn't actually impact performance that much, uh, no matter which one you go for. First of all, you can see you do get a lot more detail and a lot nicer graphics on the OnePlus 6. You can see a lot more detail from the, uh, the sky here of the island compared with on the Nokia 6.1, it's a lot more basic. You just get your, your sort of muddy ground textures compared with all this sort of lush uh, different stuff. It's just jump out. You'll notice that you'll get some really nice crisp detail at a distance as well here on the OnePlus 6, whereas on the Nokia, you'll see that the detail is kind of filled in as you run up to objects, like so. As you can see, you get much nicer textures in general here on the OnePlus 6. It looks a little bit sort of plain and boring, frankly, here on the Nokia, but again, it doesn't affect the gameplay. It's still perfectly playable here on the Nokia. Frame rate is still very, very solid indeed, thanks to the fact that it's pared down those detail settings. Of course, if you want to stand a chance against the competition, you're going to need a mobile with a big screen. There are so many fiddly little buttons that that's an absolute essential so you can actually control your player. And also, of course, the bigger the screen you have, the easier it is to spot some cheeky git who's creeping up on you through the brush. Thankfully, when it comes to spacious screens, you're bang in luck. Pretty much every smartphone I've tested in 2018, even more affordable handsets, has got screen size around that 6 inch mark, so you'll definitely have no problem seeing what is going on. Basically, just don't go for the iPhone SE or the BlackBerry Key 2 and you'll pretty much be fine. Oh, and as PUBG is an online-only game, it goes without saying that you'll need a smartphone that's got a permanent internet connection. We'd recommend definitely going Wi-Fi, as data connections can be a little bit dodgy and crap out on you just as you're about to snipe some fool from afar. So that's pretty much it. Enjoy blasting people in the bum as they desperately crawl away from you like the sadistic bastard you are. Ouchies. Oh, and please don't forget to give us a subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest techs. Cheers, love you!